Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Friday, January 5th. And the big story is going to be the bitterly cold air, not only today, but for tonight into tomorrow, tomorrow night. And we'll see temperatures finally warm up on Sunday, but not before we have a chance of record low temperatures tonight. The record low here in Breckenridge, 8.3 degrees set in 2014. I think we have a good chance to shatter that. In fact, some areas across uh, the lower peninsula, we could see many areas below 10 degrees below zero or colder with wind chills approaching 20 below. And we do have warmer air moving in for late in the weekend. That could bring a trace to two inches of snow across the area. And we're watching the system for late next week as well. Temperatures this morning below zero in all locations. Earlier was down to 12 degrees below zero at Clarksville, eight degrees below zero at Breckenridge. You can see temperatures well below zero over in the Thumb area as well. And you can see yesterday we had a high of 14.4, a low of minus 1.7 just before midnight. And we thought that'd be the case. No precipitation yesterday. And for the season, 15.6 inches of snow and 4.5 inches on the ground this morning. You can see at 7.30 this morning, we had a wind chill temperature of minus 20.5 degrees. And if we look at the weather map this morning, you can see another trough pivoting through the area. That's going to reinforce the cold. And we'll see clear skies, calm winds tonight, and that'll allow our temperatures to really drop off. The big east uh, coast blizzard now moving off to the northeast. And again, high pressure for the most part dominating, but a lot of heavy lake effect snows across all the Great Lakes over the next 24 hours. And you can see some of those heavier bands in southwest Ontario, northeast or northwestern lower Michigan, and into the UP. And much of this area here will be that system for later next week. It looks like it's trying to push its way a little farther northwest in the latest models. But again, as we expected, until we get into early next week, we're going to see those models fluctuate as it tries to determine how much phasing with the northern stream system, if any, that there will be. And you can see over the next seven days, the GFS forecast is the heaviest snows from Wisconsin into the northern lower peninsula with minor amounts across much of the MAC area outside of the snowball regions. And as far as the Canadian, though, it shows this weekend with that snow Sunday night into, or Sunday, Sunday night into early Monday, maybe a couple or a few inches of snow could fall. It's more aggressive than the European and the GFS. And we'll see which model wins that particular battle. And if we look at the extended outlook, the 6 to 10 and the 8 to 14 day outlooks, colder and wetter than normal, so a good chance of snow. And again, as we get into the 8 to 14 days near normal for precipitation and as far as temperatures, that also would bode well for at least a chance of more accumulating snow. And I expect we could see more in a way of mixed type systems as we get deeper into January as we expect temperatures to warm up. As far as the forecast, we expect temperatures only in the single digits today and into Saturday with, again, near record or record low temperatures this t uh, tonight. Again, some areas, again, could approach 15 to 20 degrees below zero actual air temperatures, and we'll forecast nine below right now. But again, we expect that could be several degrees either side of that. And then we warm up nicely uh, late in the weekend, early next week with upper 20s to low 30s with that chance of snow, especially for Sunday into very early Monday. And then again, we'll watch Thursday and Friday of next week for that possible system that could bring a more significant uh, weather maker to the area. As far as weather watch this morning, again, the big story, all the wind chill warnings and advisories across the area and the lake effect. And again, we don't see any big storms coming till possibly later on next week. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great weekend, and 73s to all.